So basically we are going to use Axios to do our first HTTP requests. In our last tutorial, we basically used use state to save the value of our prompt, as you can see. To do the HTTP request, we, we will basically do a button and I'm going to just edit get answer. I will give a bit of uh, CSS slate, which is a grayish color and basically I'm going to put text white border rounded to make it oh of course we need to start the server and there you go and to do basically this uh, HTTP request we are going now to close the server to install the package Axios this, this will be very helpful to do our GET request. There are several other ways to do it, but I actually like this one for the simplicity. So this will be the one we will be using. Uh, uh, we will need to import and create one function uh, that will be basically our handler for the button. Now we are going to call the axios.get uh, and we are going to use a known uh, URL to test uh, our gets uh, just for testing purposes, as I said. And we are going to express, expect a response. Uh, And with this, we will set our response to the specific value coming in there. Hopefully, we are not, we will not have any error. We'll need to start the terminal again. And we can now, uh, on the, um, on our button, we can do an on click. I'm sorry, event to call our function. And hopefully our uh, request will be sent and our answer will be updated with that value. We are now having here uh, our array of objects. Uh, let's say, for example, if I come here uh, when uh, showing the answer I'm going to put this a bit here. When showing the answer, I can actually show, for example, not by this, but maybe actually not by this as well. We need, for example, to put here the position zero and now we updated our position with the first object inside of there. Now that we have uh, our first HTTP request, we can actually, uh, if the request were, was actually being made uh, with an error, we can expect that error. Oh, happily it did not, but later it can be very helpful to print what was the error. With this information, you are now set to send HTTP requests and in later videos, we will start by uh, bringing the API from OpenAPI to do the first HTTP request to them and use uh, the first time the artificial intelligence that OpenAI offers developers. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.